It's a gorgeous winter day on the Gold Canyon Mountains. The wind whispers a soothing song until... While most people will be frightened by the stirring of this rattle, Mesa Community College's Andy Baldwin stops by the Gold Canyon Fire Department to pick up his next batch of slithering serpents. I worked out an arrangement with the fire department so that whenever they would pick up a snake, they would call me. We give Andy a call and uh, he usually picks them up that night. If not, he picks them up the next morning. And once back at his house, the real fun begins. So what I'm going to do is I get all my tools together, and, and at least in a general area. I open up the bucket and pull out the snake. So this is a feisty one. But then what I do is I get a tube. I try to figure out which tube is most appropriate for that body. And I'm going to try this one. And I get my trusty snake stick. And obviously he's not happy about this at all. Now that's what you want him to do. So then you push him up a little bit further, just, and then we're good. Once the snake is safely secured in the plastic tube, Andy snips off a scale to take back to his students. They feel something going on and they don't know what it is, but it's sort of like cutting your fingernail in that there's no blood, no nothing, but in any case, I have clipped off a rattlesnake scale. So what I now do is I'll take this tube back to Mesa Community College where my biotechnology students will process these scales. Andy then drops the snake back into the bucket, tightens the lid, and releases it back into the wild. But this story doesn't end out here in the desert. It continues on in the classroom. Andy's students take the scales and extract DNA in hopes of finding out whether or not snakes cross the road. That the road would act as a barrier to gene flow or uh, the snakes finding mates. So the genetics on one side of the road would be genetic, different from the genetics on the other side of the road. Snakes are not impeding on human territory. Um, we're impeding on them. Hopefully our research will give people a better understanding of the fact that this is their earth. The research gives students a hands-on approach where they can achieve their own successes. And then when you first figure out that, yes, I have DNA, like that is the most gratifying feeling. You're just like, oh my gosh, finally, it worked. With every strand of DNA leading to more questions, students hunger to learn more. Even at the end of our last class was already like, you have to create something where I can come back. I just want to know the answers to our research. We'll find out, and that's sort of the point of continuing this project in uh, Bio 107 next semester. By bringing the wildlife into the classroom, Andy is teaching his students that it's all about the journey, not the destination. Nick Spordone, reporting for Maricopa Now.